We want to take a few moments on this very busy day in Washington to focus on some new comments made by Congressman Steve King, comments which traffic yet again in racist stereotypes and are simply not true. As you know, there's been a disaster in the Midwest. Entire towns have been flooded and lives have been lost. Iowa Congressman Steve King, whose recent defense of white nationalism drew condemnation in the form of a disapproval resolution from all but one of his fellow House members, held a town hall in his district yesterday. His focus was the flooding there, and in fairness, he seemed to be doing all he could to offer encouragement to his constituents, who certainly are hurting. But Congressman King chose to compare the suffering in Iowa and elsewhere and the reaction of citizens there to the suffering in New Orleans and elsewhere after Hurricane Katrina. He did it in a way that, yet again, relies on racist stereotypes. What he said was unfair, untrue, and unbecoming of a member of Congress. But here's what FEMA tells me. We go to a place like New Orleans and everybody's looking around saying, who's going to help me? Who's going to help me? We go to a place like Iowa and we go, we go see, knock on the door and uh, say, I'm giving, make up a name, John's place. And uh, say, John, if you got water in your basement, we can write you a check. We can help you. And uh, John will say, well, wait a minute. Let me get my boots. It's Joe that needs help. Let's go down to his place and help him. Now, I'm not sure when comparing one terrible human tragedy to another terrible human tragedy became acceptable for elected officials or for anyone else, for that matter. There should be no sliding scale of suffering. Iowans today are hurting. They deserve all the help, all the compassion, all the respect that anyone can muster. But keeping them honest, does any Iowa family feel any better by hearing their congressman talk about how supposedly worse Louisiana, Louisiana families behaved? Congressman King seems to think so. He seems to believe that John or Joe would somehow not be moved by someone like Herbert Gettridge of the Lower Ninth Ward in New Orleans. When we met him in 2007, he was 83 and in the middle of rebuilding the home that he and his wife had lived in for decades. How's the rebuilding going? It's going pretty good, not as fast as I expected it to go, but uh, we're making progress. And people might think they're talking, you know, that you got some big company working with you rebuilding. You are in your house every day, every night, rebuilding it on your own. Well, I had quite a few people. I had a bunch of people from uh, Kansas City, Kansas. A church The group. National Baptist Lemon, they call themselves. I've had uh, Common, uh, Common Relief, Billy, Billy uh, Crystal. Came down well, I have help. quite a few people. I can't think of all of them. Salvation Army. Do I have quite a few people come down and give me a pretty good help out. Well, Herbert Gettridge never talked to me about handouts. He got help, as you heard, from church groups and good people and may have gotten aid from FEMA as well. He was an American, and that's what FEMA is for. When I met Mr. Gettridge, he was by himself working on the house he owned, the house that he had paid for and the house that he'd loved. So you're sleeping, you've been sleeping on a cot in your home that you're fixing up? I moved back in that house in March. I left Baton Rouge. I left Madison in October of last year, and I moved to Baton Rouge with a daughter. And I couldn't stay there for thinking about my house back here in New Orleans. But the trouble was, we couldn't get in here right away. They kept us out a long time. I think I got in here in December. Is and it scary? I, I mean, you're vir virtually the only one in this neighborhood at night. You know, there's no electricity around here. Man, I ain't scared of nothing, man. I've been all overseas. World War II carried me all over the world. I made it through Japanese and the Germans. I made it and I came back. I can come through Katrina. You're not, not scared. a big deal. He wasn't scared of nothing, he said. Not a big deal. Mr. Getridge had been through a lot in his life, and he was standing tall, and he was working hard. And I can't tell you how many people I met like him in New Orleans and Waveland, Mississippi, and Bay St. Louis, and lots of other towns. More than 1,800 people died due to the storm. Mr. King made no mention of them, nor of the thousands who, in the midst of their grief and their loss, reached out to help their neighbors. Our thoughts are with the people of Iowa, Nebraska, and all those who lost so much in flooding. But 13 or so years after Katrina, almost 14 this, uh, this September, my thoughts are also still with the people of New Orleans and Mississippi, those who made it home and those who didn't. We are, all of us, human beings and Americans, and the words Congressman King spoke yesterday say a heck of a lot more about him than they do about anyone or anything else.